hi hun welcome to another video on the channel if you are new hit the subscribe button to join the circle because you do not want to not be here today i had the most random idea to recreate regular natural hairstyles but with mini twists nobody requested for this video but i think it's gonna be really interesting make sure you watch to the end because every video of mine is a treat <laughs> so without further ado let's get into it all right so the first style is from my girl isa ray all right and it's a side part style um sometimes one side part looks better on me than the other so this was me trying to figure out which one i should use for this style i eventually went for this one now this style has some flats maybe cornrows or flat twists i don't know but i decided to go with flat twist for my recreation so after getting the side part i tried to do a flat twist but it unraveled almost entirely so um i did it and this time i I twisted all the way to the very 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 end so it was able to stay then i did the flat twist on um the other side as well and when i was done with all of that i joined them together at the back with a black a small black um rubber band you know those itty bitty rubber bands that like, you like to dip inside oil except i didn't dip mine inside oil for some reason then i used some edge control um on my edges and yeah after laying my edges and everything this is how the style is looking i do not lay my edges very well but i think i tried <laughs> style number two is this cute number we are going for a front swoop and a messy bun so i'm going to do my very best <laughs> to recreate that with twists you know like a messy bun with twists mm -hmm. we gonna see i tried my best with the swoop but then after i finished pinning it with not one but two pins this went and happened i had to go in and pin once more <laughs> but um at the end of everything the star actually came out looking super cute like girl who is this For number three we have this cute style that has cornrows to the side and then the rest of the hair is free looks simple enough to do instead of cornrows though i'm going to be using flat twists i don't know i'm very partial to flat twists today i don't know maybe it's because i felt like i was dealing with mini twists so the best thing to do would be flat twists mm, i don't know but yeah i did three flat twists um to this side of my head and then i left the rest of the twists to just fall i used a pin to like hold them down so that they don't rise up and scatter <laughs> and i used a pin up here as well just to keep the hair from falling to the middle of my face and honestly it came out really really cute up next at style number four we have two space puffs up and half down so yeah this is this was really easy to recreate i just needed to pack you know two two shuku up and then leave the rest <laughs> down actually really really cute love 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 how it came out now this style this style number five it looks simple but it challenged me okay it challenged me mostly because there wasn't any um hair coming out in the middle so at first i did it and it was just looking so up and scattered it was just like no so i lowered it a bit you know usually when you have two coming down the front it serves as a, as a distraction and the style itself doesn't need to be fine but this one i needed to get it just right and i think i did so For style number six we have another really simple style you know it's um middle up front down back down <laughs> so yeah all i had to do was just pack up the middle of my hair now obviously i can't do bangs well i mean <laughs> my twists are too long but i just scooted them to the sides of my head and bam i mean out looking cute Purr. now this style number seven was a process a process so first i took out the front uh twists then i had to divide my hair into two then i had to pack them up into two separate pigtails then i went in and twisted each pigtail after twisting each of the pigtails i had to use rubber band to hold it before it completely unraveled on my head then i did the exchangey thingy that forms the crisscross thingamabob <laughs> 
uh so when i was done with that i came back to the front and then i twisted the twist together to form like a sort of like a four strand twist now i didn't have rubber band and bead so i just used my own hair to form the bead by rolling the ends against each other and this is how it came out like i finessed this thing don't don't play with me uh, actually really cute especially from the front i love it <sighs> style number six she, she tested me she tested me because she was looking cute and i thought oh my gosh this is so cute i can so totally do this <laughs> i did the two pigtails the two breaded pigtails and i was just looking like oh mcdonald at a farm <laughs> I did not like the way this looked. Um, I tried to use bobby pins to pin like the braids down a bit so they don't fly the way they were flying before. It looked better, but yeah, uh, mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. style number nine, style number nine. I like style number nine. It was really easy to do. Like it's just messy space puffs, space buns, whatever. Okay, so my job was to pack my hair into two as messily as possible with as many straight strands as possible trust me to be the mistress of chaos and completely slay this style i mean come on look at me purr purr <laughs> style number 10 another favorite like it was a whole process still but it came out super cute so it consists of two space puffs no two space buns and two front swoops and then the rest of the hair at the back just falls down it was pretty easy to do even though it was like a whole process because you know you have to do the two buns and then the two swoops and everything but once all was said and done the style came out like so cute i mean uh, look at me girl i look so cute Arr. bonus style 11 this one you know i almost feel like i should have just left this one out i don't know <laughs> because i mean it looks cute but <laughs> don't worry you you'll get why i said i feel like i should have left it out at the end Yeah, so this is why you you see how it looks yeah yeah this is why anywho i found a hack for it i just took the straggly ends and i wrapped it around um the pigtails at the back and it came out looking this way which was much much better all right so that is all the 10 hairstyles that i've recreated let me know in the comments which one is your favorite and if i should do this again i actually really enjoyed doing this video even though it was completely impromptu unplanned and just i don't know <laughs> please make sure you try some of these styles next time you do mini twists mini twists are not meant to just hang down and be boring okay this video is proof that mini twists can be super super interesting all right that is the end of this video and i will see you in my very next one bye